Uh, my name is Kyle Young. I play quarterback for Illuminati and uh, rear zone defense. Hi, my name is Suburban Legend, and I play midfield on Illuminati. My name is PDV. I play for Illuminati. I play wing, and I try to pass to all my teammates as much as I can. What a uh, team player. Uh, hi, my name is Ender. I play for Illuminati, uh, number one NA, and I play striker. Um, there's no teams that uh, we're afraid of. I'm pretty confident we're the best team out there. Uh, I wanted to play Flair, but they're going to get eliminated and we're going to move on, so that probably won't happen, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, so as a team, I think we, we have really good uh, communication, and I think we read each other uh, really well. Um, and I think we have a, a really a really strong defensive game that uh, we, we bring to the field. Looking forward to see how that plays out against the top teams. I think we feel very prepared going into this weekend. We haven't Going into preseason, we did a lot of practice and we played really well. Starting in this season, season one, we did not practice as much and we kind of suffered a little bit because of it. But now we've been doing a little more practice and playing better as a team overall. And I think that uh, we're on top of our game now. So coming into this weekend, um, I think we really want to uh, come away with the win here overall. Uh, this is a really big tournament. We're going to get a lot of a lot of big time clout from the questies and uh i think uh coming out of the weekend we uh we're really just looking for that victory <laughs> <laughs>
Welcome back to the start of our exciting cups today, everyone. This is VR Master League. I'm Palador, Sir Dimwi right beside me, and Wit on the cams. Uh, the start of Illuminati versus Infinite right about to begin here. Uh, Sir Dimwi, exciting match to say the least. Uh, what do you got for us? What do you, what do you think we're going to look forward to in this one besides some elite level play? Man, this is just to, to go over the whole the whole day at the moment, just real quick, just to cover that, this round robin. Uh, a lot of the, you know, you can kind of predict who's going to be coming out ahead in a lot of the round robin, in a couple of the round robins. But in this one, it's real. there's a big question on who's going to be coming out. There aren't any particular favorites. Joker kind of leaning in that favorite direction, but they're really the only one here. And uh, so these two teams, they faced off twice in the season. They went one and one against each other. Uh, so an even matchup this will be. This is going to be a great game. I'm really excited to see this as we kick off here for round one. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So here we go, ladies and gents. Uh, exciting matches surely on the way as we get rolling off here. Uh, we'll be taking first Zach, not for too long. And uh, Ender getting it back. Looking from the shoulder over to the nest, perhaps, but nest pass cut off quite nicely. So QL Young goes to... A uh, Suburban, Suburban now, just working away up the floor, but just goes right into the hands of YouTube. And for Infinite now, they're looking for a clear. Yeah, Burbs, I'm not sure what that send was for, but the uh, the Chan gets back here very, very quickly. That was a Speedy V and QL Young there, QL with that one, sending it back up forward. So it's going to be Illuminati still in control here. Uh, almost a minute into round one, QL on that back line, sending that one across there to Suburbs. Suburban Legend uh, gets stolen for a moment. He gets it back, trying to slap it over there to Ender. He does find Ender. Ender's going to back it out to QL. QL's going to back it all the way out there to Speedy for them to reset here, try to attack the bubble one more time. Speedy sending that one and hits QL. Ooh. QL is going to get the first points on the board. 58 seconds in. Good for the two over the shoulder of the goalie. And uh, Illuminati with the first lead here. So good start here coming in from Illuminati. First couple of points. Uh, hard to say. Who's, who's favored, practically speaking. Uh, just uh, both these teams very close to each other in terms of uh, the overall capability and just what I expect. So we'll see what happens here. It's going to be an exciting one, no doubt. I mean, Illuminati is a team who, if they get that going, they get the good mentality. And actually, it really applies to both Illuminati and Infinite. Uh, just getting that the first initial momentum is really huge uh, for their ability to start rolling in a game. He saw right there when YouTube got that disc, he slowed it down. He, he kind of, it almost looked like the body language to me suggested he was telling his team, slow down, get into position, and then we'll start moving forward. He wasn't under pressure. And uh, so he wanted to slow that down. And still, he gets it right back there after that quick disruption. And look at that. The body language, he's still slowing it down here. He's bringing that pace down, getting his team to, to, to breathe for a moment. Zach, and it works. Zach, the feed from Pal. Zach's going to bring it in on the whirly twirly. Good for a two to tie it up here. Two minutes in. As Zach getting that first goal, tying it up, and it will be just QL. Zach starting it off for their team here in North America. And chat, a lot of a lot of cheese in there, a lot of people smiling, no doubt, for this match. So uh, first taken on the other side now. It's going to be uh, up here, up high, Ender from the sky, one of his favorite places to be when he's on offense. And QL Young. Looking to the backboard area for Ender right back. So some two-man game from a bit of a mid-range distance, but four points for Illuminati as a result. Yeah, it did not look like Ender was under all that much pressure up there on the ceiling. That's his spot. That's where he likes to go. You can't leave him open even for a second because they will feed him a pinpoint pass there right to his hands, and he will bring it in for that one-on-one -on, -one on the goalie and pop it in 90, 95% of the time, and that 5% is only for coincidence. As Palace, though, now for Infinite, down by two, they're going to look at that reset. That was a very, very far uh, deep pass for a reset, but they do it nonetheless, so that's good. Palace going to send that one across to Zach on the ceiling. Zach going to bring this in, but the stop there from Speedy, and he's going to turn this one around. Yeah, and I mentioned Speedy in the pre-show as being one of those maybe underrated defenders, but he is strong. I mean, everyone knows his, his strong arm capability as a brawler as that shot will uh, go out and miss. So here's Palace. He won't miss that one. It's uh, recovered. It's delivered. It's 4-4. Four to four, And head-to-head, -head, as I said, uh, these two teams, either one could win. It's, it's, it's just a matter of the momentum. And when both teams are playing even killed like this and... Uh, it's, it's anyone's guess. That's why I'm not going to make it. 
Yeah, no, that was that was just a fantastic clear and dump there, clear and chase for uh, for for uh, excuse me, the infinite there. So, oh, they force that turnover. Zach, look at that empty goal. Oh, gonna oh. take the shot. Uh, oh, it's gonna hit the cone off the backboard. He has another opportunity. Gonna <laughs> slap it from 11 meters out. Just a single tap there, and it goes in. 11 meters a second, a one second goal, and that's gonna push Infinite into the lead here for the first time in this game, up by three. That that slap shot just a uh, huge for Infinite there. It was a bit slow, but it was accurate and still managed to evade a potential uh, defender getting back on that in time. So Infinite does pull ahead and we'll be right back to Speedy. But those kind of shots, uh, those kind of turnover into shots, as I said. So for Infinite, maybe that will start building them this, this momentum that they want. So now we'll be Andy sending that one up to Zach. Oh, oh what a stop Speedy. there by Speedy. But it goes right there in the hands of Palace to get another opportunity. Another <laughs> stop by Speedy. Wow. That was absolutely massive there. Those are clutch saves there from Speedy. And now Ender's going to turn this one around. Maybe look, to, maybe making it look something happen here for uh, Illuminati. Oh, Speedy, Speedy, Speedy. Not just fast, but he's got the power. The speed, the strength. That was absolutely uh, disgusting there in the goal. Shout out to Andy. Uh, one of his catch, uh, casting phrases that I oh so love. But uh, Zach W will get that. And he's going to love himself an open goal. Can't convert, so it's... Very fortunate for Illuminati because anytime Zach sees an open window, he'll usually usually uh, shut it with some efficiency on those connects. Yeah, typically that's that's what Zach is known for. But it's going to be Burbs taking that long uh, send in there. But YouTube with the read going to get the grab on that. Send him back. But Speedy with the big read there going for that long <laughs> shot. But Andy's not going to let that one through. Definitely uh, have the trajectory there. But Andy had that lane covered well. What a pass there. Pass that defense up to Zach. Zach's trying to send that one in, but it's going to take that ugly bounce on. Turn around now here for Illuminati. And over on to Speedy. So Speedy over to the uh, bow tie, just ricocheting back and forth, Suburban with the disc, and all four players for Illuminati fighting themselves here on the floor as Infinite does pressure out a bit outside of the bubble. Oh, that could mean a goal Ooh. almost on the shot, potentially a pass either or. They're going to get it back. Ender hits the top, and it's a one-point match here. 345 still left on the clock. Yeah, good control there from Illuminati. They miss that first one, but they get it right back and they waste no time. Turn it right back around, send it right back to the goal and force YouTube to react once more. And YouTube can't keep up with that shot from Ender. And that one's going to go in for the two. And yeah, as you said, just down by one now. Three and a half minutes to go. This is still... Let us know when we're back, I suppose. Are we back? I think we're back, because I'm seeing some poggers in the yes, chat. Yes, we're back. Oh, hello. Welcome, welcome. Uh, we'll see what happened there. Uh, was Illuminati, Illuminati got the disc. That's uh, that's all I have for you. Uh, but over to the other end, apologies for that quick tech delay. See, it happens to every end of the floor. But there's uh, going to be an Andy W encroaching and approaching. And there, up top to the ceiling, it's Zach W from his favorite spot. <laughs> and Timmy with a favorite cop. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was muted. I apologize for that. Wow. Uh, yeah. No, that was, I was clear my throat because I was about to start talking. Uh, that that Zach, we saw it earlier. And Ender was kind of left alone on the ceiling uh, in, in the goal earlier. Is that same thing happened there. Zach was basically uncontested on the ceiling there upside down. You can't let that happen with these teams. And uh, that's good for another goal. They're infinitely going to retake the lead. So up to, to the top here of the ceiling again. Just back and forth. It, I mean, one minute left. One minute, 20 seconds. 
neither team has managed to pull away whatsoever. So every single score is going to be all the more important. Every single save. Saw those epic ones from Speedy along the way to start off, or to, to cap off just a, a beautiful defensive stand a few minutes back. But Zach, if that goes in, oh, no. would have been a devastator. But it does not. So Illuminati, chance right back now. Hey, you don't typically get two opportunities like that on those long shots. You got two. You know, he's not feeling good about that, but he's still one of the best shooters in the league, and he can still make those shots. But Speedy now with the shot. Oh, oh. but YouTube with the save, going to send it back out. It's going to be recollected here by, uh, I believe that was Ender. Ender going over to Burst. Burst, oh, so going to get oh. stopped there by YouTube. YouTube just stopping them in goal there, and now turning that one around. Maybe an opportunity here for uh, uh, Infinite. Maybe the Illuminati back in possession. Look, YouTube checked out Speedy earlier. Said, Speedy, anything you can do. Well, I can do just the same, if not better. That was a great uh, move there from YouTube. And to deny them, but QL Young, big, big steal, but even bigger stun, the save, and Zach W gets the clear. So with a one point lead as it goes deep into the bubble, 10 seconds left, not much time whatsoever. That's gonna be taken out by Palace. One more from Speedy, a really quick heave. That's all they can hope for, that's all they can ask. That's gonna go into the hands of Q, but no time spared and infinite. No time wasted, it's nine to eight in round one. Yeah, wow, what a uh, what a, <laughs> what a close finish there. Illuminati had a couple opportunities, just couldn't get it in. Infinite just stopping them in goal. That was absolutely phenomenal. You look at the, the possession, you're looking down the stats, this is an incredibly even game. Possession time, 332 to 326. A five-second difference there in favor of Infinite. Uh, shots taken, though, 11 to 9 in favor of Illuminati, but still very close. That's 55% to 45%. Assists four to three, saves four to five. I mean, they're right even down that line. Zach W there with a game high points of seven. Uh, Ender right behind him with the six, and I believe that's uh, it's going to be two, excuse me, three twos there for Ender, and two twos and a three there for Zach. And uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing how evenly matched these two teams are in this game. Uh, both disrupting on defense about as well as the other one. Both uh, scoring about as proficiently as the other. It's uh, yeah, this is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, you can see just how much this cup means, how much this uh, tournament means, because they want to advance. They want their season to continue, and every single win, every single point will matter. Uh, Rock's in the chat. Rock's Titan as well, saying there, if everything goes according to Steve, then this is a big matchup for a second place. Uh, whoever loses has a big task ahead of them. And yeah, that's uh, assuming the, the favorites there, Joker, uh, take care of business, which I feel like is not a guarantee, you know, is, as in, much as anything, yeah, they're the favorites, but I mean, every, any team on any given day, especially at this level with these particular teams, uh, it's it's going to be very, very interesting. Execution of the most, utmost importance. And uh, round two is underway, so see who executes better in this one. It's going to need to be Illuminati if they wish to stay in it. So good clear out there for Infinite, though. Back into the Illuminati zone, going all the way down to that bubble. He's right on the edge, and it's going to be uh, Zach getting there first with the slap. Good for the three. Look at that. The timing on that had to be perfect. He hit that from eight meters out and just touched it there to get it sent in for that three. And uh, Infant taking that, that early lead 22 seconds in. Yeah, what a big shot for three at that. That is a one thing to get that slap in time. It's another thing to man manage to line up the three. So that's a very huge way to open up this round with some strength. Ooh. Andy W, speaking of the strength, oh my goodness. Big hit right in the bottom corner. Tight angle, and now they're up by six in a hot second, immediately almost. Andy W coming out with the Superman punch there, coming in, punching out the the the, uh, the offensive player that I didn't catch who it was, got that disc, sends it in from deep there for another three-year infinite, up by six. Just a minute into this game, that is absolutely massive here for them in game two. Absolutely. So, Illuminati, they're going to... Gonna need a score, but it's not gonna get the job done. It's a big stun. YouTube.com playing that bubble as he often does. So whether it's the saves, it's the stuns. Point is, he got the clear off and uh, is enabling his team to perhaps score yet again. Uh, like I said, these teams are kind of feast or famine at times. Both of them, just depending on the flow of the game. If they get going, they start rolling. But if it's not going and it's raining, sometimes it's pouring. So you gotta be aware of that. And with infinite, Already first round momentum, already six points momentum in round two. This is a very, very good start for them. 
Well, it absolutely is, and now that they're back, they're still in control of it here. Two minutes in, and they're, they're taking the time. This is clock management here. Look at that. Instead of going for uh, forcing a shot there, they just back it out again. They're just they're, they're almost toying with them, but oh, oh. the shot there, the stop by QL with that grab floating in front of a goal. He's going to get it set away. Not in the mood to put up with that nonsense there. QL is, and uh, now forcing uh, Infinite to turn it around. Infinite does get it back, but uh, maybe another opportunity, or not as QL gets that one. So trying to space out is Illuminati. They're, again, just struggling a little, little bit with this aggression uh, coming out from Infinite. Definitely don't want to turn it over anymore and allow some more scores because uh, should another one go in, Infinite going up by 8, by 9, that would be just crushing. Uh, so for uh, Illuminati, I think they, they, they don't have the benefit of you know being a best of 5 right now or anything like that. They, they've got to close it out uh, right here, right now. QL Young, that's how it's done. Yeah, that was a great grab there from QL, punishing that turnover there with the no goalie in the goal on, on Infinite side. He's going to send that one in from nine meters out. And that's uh, that's what Illuminati's going to need to do to come back ahead here in Infinite to take this round two. Uh, they need to be able to, they need to be punishing Infinite for the mistakes Infinite makes. There was that uh, that earlier when QL got hold of that disc and sent it away after uh, Infinite passed it around the zone. Infinite got it right back. So that was uh, uh, an example of not punishing them for a mistake that was made. And uh, right there they did. And that's what they need to keep doing here to come back and yeah, so there's a speed coming in pretty hot but speedy getting stunned on the other end popped uh and just trying to stay in position uh right now as all of infinite just managing their time managing the floor space quite well so That's we'll good. be taken here now zach receiving that pass uh will be a soft one makes it a tough catch with the defender pretty nearby but uh, another back pass out to youtube Bounces around a little bit, but still plenty of time to regather before any kind of a stack can assault. So again, the reset, again, playing the time. Yeah, YouTube, every time he gets hold of that disc, he really plays it slowly, trying to draw, draw that defense out. They're not biting that hard, so he takes his time, but a good feed in there to Andy. Andy, though, going to back it right back out to YouTube. YouTube going to fade oh. in there and then set it to Zach behind the goal as he gets the challenge. And yeah, Zach's going to put that in for two, and Infinite's going to push their lead back up to five. Oh, that was a fantastic move from YouTube. Zach finishing it, but driving in so casually. Just his body language, eyeing down the goalie a little bit, not uh, giving kind of a look away pass. It looked like by all accounts, YouTube was going to take that shot. And then suddenly he slips it by right into the uh, bottom of that goal. And that's an even easier shot. Turned it from maybe a 70% a chance shot uh, into a 100% chance shot. Now it'll be Illuminati getting that, forcing that turnover, at least for a moment. But it will be Zach going right with that one. Sending it in deep, looking at that, that empty net, but that one's going to go high and wide. Bounce out of the bubble now, all, all the way back to that trap area. It's not the bounce they were looking for, but that chain is going to get Palace there first. Palace going to back that one deep, uh, looking for YouTube. I didn't see YouTube there, but now I, I do see him now. But that was a very, very deep back pass, and I don't know if I've ever seen a back pass that deep there. And it does lead to this turnover. Ender looking at, uh, thought he had an empty net there, but then YouTube cutting into that lane, so Ender thought twice. And now Andy, oh, ooh, a little back and forth there, a little tussle on the floor. Speedy coming away with it, taking a shot for the stop by YouTube. Wow, and he's going to send that one away do you see him now he definitely sees the disc he is right there doesn't miss that grab and not missing the punch another one now from palace a lot of stuns some great defense infinite came to play here they go there's the speed and there's the grab palace getting stunned again in fact it goes to the other side of right now i mean it's still close enough to come back by all stretches of the imagination but wow is infinite just coming up hot and, and doing just about everything right. Yeah, in, in, although doing everything right, but uh, an opportunity for Illuminati <laughs> coming off the backboard, but YouTube with the save on, was that a shot from QL? I do believe it was. And YouTube reading that one like a book that time, and it was just uh, soft enough off the backboard, uh, not enough speed on it, so made the save a bit easier as well. There's a, another good brawl. It's going to be backed out, or a side pass rather, crossing it to Andy. Andy getting stunned, however. So one of the few mistakes they've made really in the last couple minutes. Will it enable a goal is the question as Ender does encroach and somehow gets the three. Unbelievable. Not only on the goalie, there's a player floating up into that shot lane. 
nonetheless, Ender, 18 meters a second from 9 meters out, is going to get that in for the 3. What a shot there from Ender. Seeing that by both of those players. And that's going to bring the uh, infinitely down to 2 here as Infinite takes this joust advantage. And now just waiting and waiting and waiting for that defender to approach, uh, knowing that they maybe should slow it down off that a big scramble. But another scramble is going to be speedy with a disc. Hands it off to Ender. Ender uh, really needs to be careful there. It's maybe trying to even bait the punch. Either or, Suburban has a chance to tie with a pass to Speedy, uh, but couldn't get it by. It's another stun every time. It seems like that Illuminati is getting close within that bubble. They just get stunned over and over. So here comes again, another quick handoff. This passing immaculate by YouTube. He is in a groove and cannot be stopped. Everything he's putting out is nothing but defensive stops. And Palace, the drop shot from down below. 11 to 6. Insanity from Infinite. What a turnaround there. That beautiful stop there. Another beautiful stop there from YouTube. He sends that one away. And it's going to be the chain of Infinite getting down there first. Pal sending that one in for another three there. And Infinite's going to go up by five here. Only two minutes to go. But still a, a surmountable hill to climb here for Illuminati as they send this one into the Infinite zone. Bouncing around there. Looking like Ender getting the grab on it. But he's going to get stunned out. And now it's going to be Zach coming away with it. Zach out of pressure. Going to back that one out. Looking for Andy. Uh, YouTube comes out to play. YouTube has that one. Sending that one forward up to uh, that's Palace there. Powell's going to send that one all the way down into the Illuminati bubble. It's kind of a Hail Mary clear there. And it's going to be Andy getting there. Excuse me, Zach getting there first. He's going to put that one in for the two. And Infinite going to extend their lead to seven. And 135 left. This is, this is about the time where if you're uh, over there on Illuminati, I mean, you know you're down around. You're looking at that clock and, and you're kind of feeling that pressure. Uh, without a doubt, they need to act mighty quickly if they want to go to a round three. Uh, but Infinite has done everything within their power, uh, within their grasp, to just deny with all those stuns on the outer edge of the bubble and then all the saves from YouTube. So trying to make a play, that's going to go softly off, will not drop, and now we're approaching that one minute mark. Yeah, what a shot opportunity there, and it's going to be Ender coming in. Pat, try to, uh, oh, Ender got stunned out, I apologize. I wasn't sure what happened there, and that one gets away from him. But it will be speedy now. Excuse me, with that disc, Speedy moving in, moving across, sending that one into the bubble, hitting QL Young, but that one's going to get stolen quickly there by uh, Palace. Palace going to send that one away, but still in the zone. Palace uh, getting a hand on his own uh, clear out, and he's going to clear even further in that bounce uh, over the, the trajectory on that one. Jeez, oh, Jeez. that's all I got to say. Uh, yeah, 33 seconds left, and we... Infinite. Infinite just came to play. I... I... That, that was such an impressive performance all around. I mean, YouTube with the tremendous saves, but the absolutely stifling defense every single time. Because Illuminati, they're, they're a very bread and butter team in terms of just those, again, those basic, and I say that in a, in, you know, a positive sense, but they, they, they make the, the fundamentals so very easy. That's how they, they won the championship. Just one more shot will actually go through for our infinite, so that's a thing, but but yeah, uh, none of those bread and butter plays ever got going really. It was close in that first round for a, a lot of it, but uh, then infinite, man, once they started picking up that steam, they just never let off. Yeah, no, they, they really uh, they really took it to uh, Illuminati here. And uh, notably, you're talking about how Illuminati plays kind of the, the, with those fundamentals. Their, their, their formations are actually, they, they kind of stick to very basic uh, as far as like they're they're at the core of what they're doing, it's generally very basic. It's a lot of alt, uh, alteration, like uh, uh, little you know um, alterations within that plan, within that basic plan, that basic framework that they get this big variety uh, that you see actually play out on the field, and and they they execute it with such effectiveness. Uh, and that comes down, that's the talent of these players. These yeah. are some of the best players in the world, hands down, bar none. I mean, you can't do that without. Uh, you can't win a championship without being at that level. And uh, but yeah, Infinite really brought it here to Illuminati today. Uh, really, really, Infinite's really playing uh, uh, like they want. They really want to get into those finals, and uh, they they proved it here, taking Infinite in two. Uh, but also notable over there on Channel Two, Team Joker Wireless Shacks still in round two. They're halfway through, but it's only an eight-two game. Uh, Wireless Shacks holding uh, Team Joker down out of that single digit so far with a goal on the board. Uh, so definitely getting interesting over there. Yeah, posted the link in the chat for those who want to go visit that one. Exciting matches all around. So, uh, of course, until that uh, match concludes, we'll just be in uh, intermission mode a bit. But, yeah, uh, incredible effort all around. I mean, uh, yeah, Illuminati doesn't... 
it, it takes a lot of skill to make just to take the, the fundamentals like they do and turn it into just uh, again their entire formula which is to say they're just so solid at all of those those mechanics all of those uh you know just manners of team play that uh yeah it does it does look easy it does look as uh, simple and yet the execution usually so on point for them but just cannot deny uh, infinite and that stifling defense and not to mention just capitalizing on the offense uh, they definitely came to play and that's that's the kind of fire that it's just a, a result of a tournament like this of a game like this where your season's on the line and it's either win or go home so that could uh, mean huge things just depending on how the rest of these brackets play out for infinite so uh, again that chat uh, or that that uh, twitch Channel 2 there, continuing to uh, go on with Joker and Wireless Jack. So uh, for you guys in chat, I mean, appreciate you guys joining. Hopefully you're checking out that game and uh, just enjoying the day. But appreciate you guys stopping in for sure as uh, we await the conclusion of the next one. So until uh, that happens, probably take just the a quick intermission and resettle ourselves and see what the next round has in store. Uh, we'll be just by the by uh, on Channel 1, we'll be sticking uh, with infinite and uh following them in their match against joker which will be another marquee match for sure uh, meanwhile channel two it will be illuminati and the wireless jacks so uh until then take it easy and we'll be back after just a little bit
Hi, my name is Ryan. I play for Team Joker, and I'm a striker. I'm trash, though. Hi, my name is Skinny. I play for Team Joker, and I'm a midfielder and goalie. Hi, my name is Kong. I'm on Team Joker, and I'm a defender, but I like to score. If there's actually one team I'm uh, afraid of, it's going to be Team Infinite. They're the only team to have... We, the only team we have been by one single point, two rounds. So even though we haven't played, I haven't played the Kangorillas in an official game, I'm more afraid about Team Infinite. Um, going into this weekend, I think our strengths are our chain. We're really fast to get everywhere on the field. And as well as our defense, we're, uh, we're quick to get those interceptions and see where the pass is going to go from the enemy. I mean, just seeing me being included in the amount of scrims and just seeing positive results just makes me as confident we'll be as prepared as ever going into the finals. I think our goal going into this weekend would be Joker training around the map and dunking it on every team. What I want to come out of this weekend is I want to have fun times, not losing a bracket reset, and Joker train for the win. Welcome back, everyone, to VR Master League. I'm Palador, once more, joined by Sir Dimwi on the casting booth, Wit on the cams. We've got a match uh, soon to start between Team Joker and Infinite, uh, Infinite now. Both of these teams coming off some wins in that, that first round of this round robin tournament here uh, in Group B of North America. A, a fantastic match over here on uh, Channel 1 with Infinite and Illum uh, Illuminati just concluding, and that was one of the more insane defensive stands I think I've seen uh, from a team uh, coming from Infinite's side, especially in that second round, the rejection after rejection uh, from YouTube with the saves and then just so many punches from all the Infinite players. So they're coming in here with some momentum and uh, probably feeling feeling pretty confident, at least in the sense that, uh, hey, they're, they're, they got the uh, wind underneath them. They got that first tough match, that important match against Illuminati out of the way. And now coming against the number one rated Joker, um, if they if they play with that same kind of ferocity, never know what could happen here, didn't we? Yeah, no. Uh, if any if any of the teams today are going to bring it to Joker, it's definitely going to be infinite. Uh, these teams of all the teams today, these two played more in the season than any other matchup on the day in this in this uh, round robin group. They played four times a season. Now, Joker did take all four of those games, but Infinite got so incredibly close more than once i mean we're talking 1.1 goal games here that that i mean we're decided by in the last 15 30 seconds by a single goal a single mistake a single turnover that uh that yeah they're they're definitely looking to uh, oh, oh my goodness the comms in game right now are going nuts <laughs> but uh yeah no they're infinite is definitely looking to finally get that victory over joker here uh, it's probably not going to probably not going to jo knock Joker out of the finals, but uh, they definitely want to uh, at least make an attempt at that here. And uh, they're 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 definitely going to be bringing it here against Joker. And as you said, if they play with that same ferocity we saw in uh, the round one of the round robin, uh, they they definitely uh, have a chance to do it here. Yeah, and I had to refer to Joker as those round robbers. Essentially, yeah, they just do not lose rounds. As a whole, it was only to Kangorillas a few times uh, in in those matches they played against Kangos throughout season one. But every other team they faced, although they've they've come close to dropping rounds, it just hasn't happened yet. But like you said, it's happened where it's gotten within reach. It's been close. Uh, Infinite has been one of those teams to pressure and make it close. And in a big match situation like we have here today, all it's going to take is Joker having a slightly off game or 
not taking the this particular match with uh, seriously enough and with enough respect for uh, Infinite to really do some heavy damage. And there's Andy. He gets the disc first for them and then backs it out to YouTube. So we'll be infinite getting the first opportunity here on offense. YouTube, we saw this in round one, how uh, he, he slows it down there, and he really took his time with that one, Draw that, drew that defense out, and a palace on the far side there has a lot of room to work with. Defense starting to make it its way there, so they're just going to back it right out to YouTube. They're really, they're really being very cautious with this uh, with this Joker defense. Joker is so strong, they're so good. And look at that, a play. They had Zach on the backward there, completely uncontested, and he's able to get that one in for the first points on the board, 33 seconds in. Wow. Well then, uh, that certainly is a good start for uh, Infinite there. First two points, as I said, anything can happen, and I'm, oh, I'm excited for that anything to happen uh, if it does. But Joker, a very, very tough team to handle for everyone in this league. So it's just uh, it's a matter of time before they score, but look at that pile up. Uh, again, all the flying fists doing some severe damage, but luckily, uh, well, not so much luck as just good positioning from Dash to get the disc back from, or for Joker as they approach the bubble with a great delivery, but a great stun. What is with all of these stuns from Infinite today? Yeah, it looked like uh, Joker thought they had a, a sure shot at the goal there, but as uh, the shooter's coming in, the goalie comes out of stun, and another stop there, Andy coming away with that one, and that's going to get sent away. They stop two Joker attacks there, and now an opportunity here for Infinite. If they can get their first, they don't. Jay Walker's going to get that one sent back to that near side tube, but wow, what defense there, and now a long shot there from Ryan, and that's going to bounce wide. Wow, you don't see that often from Ryan from those tubes. This, this is nothing short of incredible. The only unfortunate part of that whole exchange, that huge defensive exchange, is the fact that they could not get the disc uh, back to the other side and maybe find some offense. That's the big thing, because I, I was mentioning it a little bit before we started this match uh, off stream, how that was impressive from Infinite against Illuminati, but sustaining that kind of defense for 20 or 30 minutes straight is a tough task but somehow they're doing it so far look at that punch look at the clear look at the boost look at the disc are they gonna get it back no they missed because the overshoot but oh my goodness this is some of the most amazing defense i have seen predicated off of brawls purely yeah infinite is really is really making it hard here uh, for Joker, Joker again with that, the, the, the disc, Dash sending that one up, but another stun there out on Kong. Kong can't get that one, and another one. That one's going to get reset, though, to Ryan. Ryan on that back, though, going to send that one in. Does it, Jay Walker? But another stop from YouTube, and that gets sent away again. What is even happening? N nothing is getting through. I cannot. The uh, If they can just get the disc on the other side, that's a problem. You do not want to give Joker this many shots. And again, it gets oh. taken. This is the most possessed team I think I've ever seen on the defensive end. What in the world is happening? I can't even comprehend this, didn't we? Yeah, nobody stops Joker like this. This is absolutely amazing. YouTube getting stunned out there, but still Zach coming away with that one. Uh, and uh, Oh, well, big grab there from Jay Walker. Sending that one in deep, but that one's going to go wide. Now back in the hands of Joker. Going to be handled by Ryan. Ryan now moving in. Taking that shot, but another stop by oh. YouTube, and he's going to send that one away again. Immovable force beat unstoppable object. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't Enough even, said. Yeah. This, it, it, this is incredible. Now we're going to get the chains here to chase this one down. Uh, Joker both getting there right about the same time. Going to be handled by Andy. Taking the shot, but he gets stunned out. So the accuracy is off. Trying to get back to it. Palace is going to come over with this one. Sending it all the way across there to Zach. Zach coming in. Uh, and he hits it. Almost three minutes of nonstop Joker onslaught on the infinite goal. And it's infinite going to be able to put that one in for the two finally wow uh, you know what? I, we're getting a restart here oh and i was as i was going to check the i really wanted to look at possession time because you know joker was dominating in possession time after that but wow yeah 4-0 there as it looks like we do have a dropout here on uh on the side of joker uh looks like kong has fallen out but uh yeah wow absolutely ridiculous defense there we saw from infinite youtube.com did anybody see the save counts before uh, we got the reset there because wow i mean I, I don't know how many he got you know, four five we, six like, someone will someone will go back and look at it because that entire possession of that entire round of just back and forth that's going to be looked at an awful lot so we'll get the counts one way or the other but <laughs> holy smokes uh chat chat mentioned it i don't not not too often i get that speechless but by the time we got into that last minute or so of that, uh, those possessions before the score. I had no words left. I'm, yeah, I, I'm still trying to recover at the moment because that was inhuman.
<laughs> yeah, what else was, can I say? That was inhuman that, defense. That was absolutely unreal, the stops we were seeing there. And, it, you know, it, it looked like any time – there was a point at which uh, – there were two players in goal there. They both get stunned out. The shooter was going to take a shot, and Andy comes out of nowhere and stuffs him, takes that disc, and uh, sends it away. And, uh, yeah, it's absolutely uh, ridiculous what we saw there. Still speechless, but still waiting on the return here uh, for Joker, uh, for Kung, it looks like. But, yeah, uh, incredibly, incredibly entertaining start. Uh, we had said just before that round was going to begin, you know, it, it's if they carried over, if Infinite carried over what they did in uh, the first match of the day versus Illuminati, if they carried that over somehow, and if Joker played a little bit off, uh, a upset was very likely, quite frankly. But as I said, sustaining that level of play, difficult to do. Somehow they've done it so far, but I mean, still a lot of clock to burn in this round and in this series, so... We'll see if that continues, but no matter what, we've got some very, very clippable moments uh, that will make some reels for sure. Yeah, no, there's some, uh, uh, yeah, I just, there, there's only so much, uh, well, yeah, I just, <laughs> speechless the right word. That was just uh, phenomenal. And uh, now, yeah, just waiting for a uh, player to get back here to start. Uh, 620 still on the clock, 4-0, infinite uh, in the lead right now. I just... That's a, a against Joker. That's a massive lead. You might think, oh, that's only two goals, and it is only two goals. But it's two goals against Joker, and uh, that's it. you don't see that all that often. And uh, really curious to see if, if Infinite after this uh, this restart here is going to be able to hold it together, stay uh, with that uh, that momentum, uh, push and and use it to push forward here. Yeah, and uh, just real quick, check it out the times here, make uh, verifying as it was requested, and we'll see here when uh when that had occurred, but. Let's see. All right. So looks like yeah, it was 4 0. The goal was scored at 6 14. There you go. So hopefully, uh, Wits somewhere there in the distance can take care of that. 6 14 on the goal. Uh, but yes, just uh, incredible effort going on. I mean, on channel two as well, we do have that uh, match being casted by uh, caption Sputnik Cobra and also Strembitsky from King Gorillas joining in on that uh, that match there along with uh, so much for subtlety camming in that match uh, Illuminati versus Wireless Jacks currently in the first round 8 to 2 uh, favoring Illuminati it would seem there's about 440 left so again uh, you have your options and as we do await the return of uh, Kung you guys have your uh, other options to, to view there. But we got them the times. We got Kung back in the game just as I say that. So about ready to continue. Yeah, and he did report in the uh, in the chat there that Kung, apparently his hands were out uh, for a minute there. So that's uh, that was uh, the reason for that restart there. He lost, uh, he lost his hand tracking. And, uh, yeah, I guess it took a minute to reset uh, everything there. Sometimes you have to reset the Oculus, and that can take a minute. So, uh, yeah, we are that, getting ready to set here to go. That's okay, Dimwee, because you know what? My jaw was out. So, <laughs> hey, it's uh, it's mutual. We're all we're all losing, we're all losing something. We just lost the ah the disc. Oh, the ever pesky disc over there in the middle of the field. That's uh, always lovely. But nonetheless, a brief reset on the reset to get into the right position, I believe, <laughs> and then we'll be going back to the game. Yeah, it happens to the best of us on those restarts. Sometimes you, you forget just one little setting there, and it, it, it'll spawn out like that. And, uh, yeah, good that they caught it quickly and uh, are getting a reset now. Uh, but, yeah, as we have the team's readying up, we're going to get restarted here. Infinite currently up by 4, 4-0 four oh in favor of Infinite. 6-14 left on the clock. We are in round one here between Joker and uh, Infinite. Uh, if I'm not being redundant enough, Infinite is currently playing in this game. Infinite, you can keep saying that on Infinite Lee, Sir Dimwi. That's okay, that's uh, the theme of the name. And right now the running theme is gonna be as this ready up does uh, go through and the disc, hopefully all in the appropriate places as are the players and the scores, but the theme is going to be regaining the momentum. You know, the absolute fiery defense coming in from Infinite. And a Joker, their team built upon fiery offense now of course defense still strong for them as well uh mentioned that earlier 
but let's see what they do. Okay, the rollout here. Okay, there's a punch right where we left off. The punch, the turnover, it's right back to Zach and Co. And there's the open goal, maybe, if they get there fast enough. But Joker just falling behind. But luckily, uh, the overshoots. So lucky for Joker, they don't pay right away. But a good hand there by Palace to disrupt a little bit more. So Joker has to clear this in without a stack. And so it looks like one player coming in is four and three in the back, just stunning Ooh. it out. And Kong is going to get down there with all the time he needs to put that in for two. And that's Joker. First points on the board here over four minutes in that's almost unheard of to go yeah. that long without joker putting some points on the board borderline impossible if you'd asked me before this match had started even despite what infinite did in the match against luminati to hold joker down for any more than a minute is a pretty gargantuan task but they did show up uh, even on that last play there infinite caused a turnover it was just uh, too slow on the stacks both of the teams really maybe losing a little bit of steam off of that brief break uh, because those stacks did not come in with the speed we expected. And uh, as a result, it was just a kind of 50-50. Ended up going Joker's way. As that shot will not go their way uh, at all. There goes the recovery. Jay Walker, the reset now. Right to the backliner. And the defense, again, playing pretty aggressively outside that bubble. Yeah, Ooh, now nice getting move, a little bit way. loose. Ooh, Zach trying to get the hand on it. Does get the stun on Ryan. Jay Walker coming, getting the grab on it and sending that one back. But he's going to get stunned out. And that one's going to go a little bit loose. Still loose here. As the stuns come out in the backfield, trading stuns there, and now just to tap, and that's going to be Dash sending that one up to Ryan. Ryan, good cross there to Kong Kong, though. He's going to stay his hand for a moment. <laughs> and then the stop from Zach to turn it around. I don't know what's happening anymore, but they're going to go for the boost now. Not missing the regrabs, not missing the trajectory. They're going to hold it, and they're going to go for the goal, and maybe go for the gold. Here, Andy W., the most gentle dunk of his life. Speaking of uh, going for gold, you know what we have right now, Powdor? I, I'm sure you're going to tell me. It's a hype train. We got a hype train going on in the chat. We got 100 bits there from Skinny. Excuse me, 200 bits from Skinny, 100 bits there from It's Woosh. Uh, we also had CJ come in with a uh, uh, gifting a tier one sub there. Hits Mojolly with that one. And it did kickstart the hype train there. So hype train is rolling. And kickstarting it for the Joker offense, hopefully for them, as Dash comes out here in the back line, receiving the back pass, trying to maybe direct traffic in the comms. I can only imagine. You can see the goalies being bothered, but again, a hot stun coming in and just ruining any chance of the offense. So finally, they're going to get it, and it goes through. And that Ooh. even that shot was almost saved. This is just incredible. But Joker, they're going to take anything they could get, and that is finally uh, some more points. Yeah, quick shout out to Lance with 100 bits. Yeah, Zach, it was in goal. He, it looked like he, he almost got the grab on it or maybe did just barely, but it goes in nonetheless. That's going to be another point, two points there to Joker, but Infinite still in the lead here with three minutes to go. And look at this, YouTube taking all the time. He's, he's saying, Joke, we're not going to move unless you come out and challenge and open up some space for us. And that's exactly what he got there. He, that was the trade-off he wanted. He was negotiating with the defense there in the back line. And uh, yeah, now Andy coming away with that one as he gets stunned out. They're going to send it to the roof. A bit of race where Ryan coming away with that one, sending it back to mid. Going to take a few bounces there. Jay Walker getting there first. They do have it. Uh, Infinite has a man down deep. Going to get sent in deep. YouTube's there to get the grab and send it away. And Dash now takes it. It's going to be a number situation briefly, but now the defense coming back, and they will get the goal right up in the closest of ranges. Possibly the only way they're going to get it through the goalkeeping, if they could even manage to get through the punches, the walls of uh, punches coming out on the outer edge. That's the problem. It's just a double layer of ridiculous defense, but Joker does manage to get the tie. Yeah, it was just a, a fantastic setup there by Joker to tie it up with two minutes to go here. And uh, yeah, look at that. They're covering oh. those lanes. Almost get that interception. They do get the turnover. Kong coming away with it. But a big steal there from Zach to send it back. But it's got to be Jay Walker on that back line there to get the hand on it. Jay Walker sending this one in deep there to Ryan. Ryan now moving in. Has a man on the floor there. Kong, Kong now under pressure. Sending it up to Jay Walker as he's coming over the shield. But that one taking the bounce and going to be handled by Andy. He's going to send it away. The amount of stuns coming through that is bothering Joker so much at the moment. This is something that Joker does to other teams uh, quite often. Not necessarily that they're, they they brawl to that degree, but they pressure just using their, their positioning and uh, forcing a lot of discomfort for teams usually. But that's exactly what Infinite's doing here, uh, even to a further degree, just because they have yeah, the stuns. They're popping off like nothing. And at the moment, though, Joker is going to come back. But no, actually, Palace speedily coming through. There's a minute and 20 seconds left here. The game is all knotted up, but it's going to be recovered and then taken away. Some more big stuns, but this time it's coming from Joker. 
Yeah, those chains are both moving neck to neck all the way down, side by side. They get there at the same time. And oh, Kong with the slap there, definitely feeling the Ooh. disrespect as he walks that win in on the goalie, puts it in for the two. And that's Joker taking a two point lead here with just a minute to go. And the one time, I should say two times, that a, a stun battle seemed to go the way of Joker in their favor. First on the uh, other end, just underneath the goal, and then right there. That was a super risky uh, stun that the QB gave off, but hey, it got the shot. So that was huge. Uh, it's just maybe, maybe help secure a win, but there's still 30 seconds left, and that's going to be a turnover. So a chance to tie, chance to take the lead if they play their cards right. The defense has been on point. It's just a matter of that offense. Well, on that feed there, Andy, looking for that cross pass there to Zach, but it's just off the mark. Now trying to make something happen. 12 seconds to go. YouTube sending that one over to Andy. Andy floating off that blow camp, off the block, trying to move in, setting it in, and he hits it for the two. He's going to tie it up with five seconds. We're going to overtime. The goals, and they continue to amaze. It is OT. It is eight to eight. This is one of the greats in terms of matches that I have seen. The defense, so intense. Uh, speechless again. Dimly, two minutes on the clock. It's sudden death in this first round. Sudden death Absolutely every time. Absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable as we start this every time. Counting down. Teams are out. We got two minutes to go. It is going to be Joker getting the headbutt off of that one. And that one's going to take a wild bounce backwards. It's going to be a race for it Ooh. now. It's in that tube. Who's going to get there first? Look like a slap there. Oh. All the way down. Does hit Andy. Andy now. Oh, he loses oh, no. control of it there on that block. And the good stun there, though. It's still in that trap. Still loose. It's, uh, I didn't see who got the slap there, but it's going to go all the way on that far side there. And now picked up by Kong to turn around. Maybe it's going to be Joker coming back with this one. Yeah, maybe a miscommunication there because there was a little time uh, on that reception, that recovery in the bottom pocket. Instead, they're just going oh, no. to maybe concede that open. Oh, no. And misses. A rebound coming in now from Palace. That's a big miss. The hesitation. And they get it through somehow onto that clear. So there comes the boost once again. Now the goal is wide open. All the same. Whoa. One of the biggest saves, I think, in Echo history as that goes in. But back to YouTube spinning and maybe finding that calming factor. It's like a one more and far the and that was beautiful youtube over to andy 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 bringing that one in right on the goal as a player and one player in front of him two players around the goal sends it in gets it in for the two and infinite's gonna take round one over team joker this is the first time this season that any other team other than kang has taken a round on joker infinite just did it here in overtime wow ladies and gentlemen we have a game Call your parents, call your friends, call your siblings, call everybody, get them in here. This is top level Echo Arena. Yeah, I, I'm, 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 I'm legitimate. I'm, I'm trying to find words, but I can't. The, the, the incredible, the, first of all, that save on that open goal, absolutely top tier, top notch, elite. What, what more can you say? That was ridiculous. But then that patient play, the hesitation in a good way. They weren't going to rush a shot. They just came up in there. They found that avenue. <laughs> and made, they made history. That's what they did. They came in. They made season one. They made VRML history by handing Joker that first round uh, loss. And the scary thing is they have to do it again. That was, you know, it's wild because... It, we saw that Jay Walker made one of the most ridiculous saves I have ever seen in one of the most clutch moments. And it, 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 it almost gets completely overshadowed by the fact that infinite came away with that victory. It, it, cause that was, that was honestly one of the most amazing saves, one of the most clutch saves I've ever seen in this game. And yeah, I don't even, Oh yeah. Infinite. As you said, Infinite has to do it again. We're starting now here in round two countdown teams are coming out of the tombs. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I don't even know what to expect anymore, but I'm excited to find out what this second round does have in store. Absolutely crazy as Dash takes it, backs it. Ryan, he's going to reset. Uh, and that's what Joker needs to do mentally is reset after that loss. Ryan, he's going to set oh for the goodness. shot. But Palace, the... Great Wall of Infinite continues as another shot is Ooh. saved by Ryan. Unbelievable defense from both sides. 
What is happening? The, the, the defense, the goal, the saves here are ridiculous. Now, shot there from Jay Walker. That one's going to go just a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Cole getting the rebound, stuffing it in for the two. That's going to be our first goal of the game. 41 seconds in, round two. Joker, two, Joker taking a two point lead. Then we help me out here because this is um this it's it's in, it's it's insane the saves the saves are ridiculous and it's not even the name it's it, it, it was it was uh palace getting the save on the one end and then it was jay walker getting the save that's not even the team's goalies like this is <laughs> yeah, everybody is stepping up right now this is amazing what we're all oh, that's done there ryan gonna send that one in deep it is gonna bounce off the shield who's gonna get there first it's it got ryan getting his own ooh, and he ooh. sends it in 21 meters out 17 meters a second good for the Good for the three, and now Joker's up by five. Okay, there is, there is the momentum that maybe Joker needed. How long did it take them just to get their first two goals in round one, for that matter? It, they were held scoreless. Ryan has just entered the building, ladies and gentlemen. That he has. Now, here's another turnover. So this is very, very dangerous territory uh, for Infinite. Only down five, but you do not want to let Joker start seeing uh, any more of those plays go their way. They got to get back. Do not let anything snowball. If nothing else, Infinite, they want to snowball it themselves. Look at that. Leaving way deep in the backfield was Dash. Uh, getting it right back and now attacking with Dash. So looking it out to the side, swatting it like an insect. But Andy trying to get the rebound here, but will not be. Uh, the case as it does go the way of Joker and Orion gets the clear intercept again here back line and then back it goes once more so here they are they're resetting the YouTube to slow it down and get the defense drawn out he does send out the defender so they have the three on three now coming into the bubble sending that one across oh he sends it in right on the goalie right in his face slamming that one in Zach W putting the two on the board finally here for infinite two and a half minutes in and yeah that's a what a goal there from Zach I talk about bread and butter plays. A lot of time it's in the context of those cross pass plays and those uh, backboard plays, things like that. For Infinite, between the likes of Zach and Andy, that bread and butter is exactly that. That They, they go in from uh, the corners, from the shoulders, they turn, and they just burn the defenses over and over with those moves. Uh, trying to do it again here with some quick stacks and actually just another interception. So. Uh, they have a chance to bring it even closer, and they do. And DW. Yeah, what a play there. The passing there from Infinite was on point. They get another one in. That's two in a row here for Infinite. That one only taking 22 seconds after they force a turnover off of the Joker joust. It's Zach to Andy, the twins, doing twin business there, bringing that one in. And now it's only a one-point game here with six and a half to go. Yeah, I just... I, I, continue continues to uh just impress to the highest degree uh palace taking that away and for infinite that's just it's a good sign that they were able to score despite the fact oh. that joker made a couple big uh, big scores of their own now a big punch coming through but deep there it's going to beat youtube now he's stifled so much already today but how's he gonna do here well Ooh. apparently doesn't need to do too much because just the mere presence uh, forces that miss See that play that they that, that those two just rolled out? I think that's Jay Walker and uh, who's that? Ryan. That was uh, phenomenal. Somebody clip that and 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 take that study of that. That was that was beautiful. But an opportunity here for Infinite YouTube with that disc sending that one in high and Andy Zach does get the grab on it with the goalie coming out with the read and he gets it in for the two and that's going to be Infinite taking the lead for the first time here in round two about halfway in. Infinite is on another level at the moment. Everything the defense again and it's forcing joker into such discomfort they had joker had a two on one at the other end and they just couldn't convert on that one like i said the joker is not ever bothered like this on a regular basis much less for uh, what 15 minutes so far this is absolute just unprecedented play we're seeing from infinite and unprecedented uh shakiness from joker yeah, this is this is unreal. Uh, unreal. Both teams playing at a, a genuine top level right now. And uh, yeah, Dash now sending this one up. Jay Walker, look at how quick they're moving. They're feeling the pressure right now. With uh, halfway through this game, it's basically tied up uh, with an infinite advantage shot there. But that one's gonna take that goofy bounce. YouTube getting the grab on that one, trying to send it away, but it's gonna bounce off the ceiling now. Pal is getting the grab. He's gonna get stunned, and then Dash getting stunned. Zach trying to get to that, but Ryan sends it back there to Jay Walker. Jay Walker going into Kong Kong now. He's gonna get stunned out. Look at that cross pass, but the read there from Zach isn't gonna Perfect let it happen, read. and he sends it away. 
Oh, that is even very close to being online. The stack is still going to deny it and have a little time to work with. But just insane uh, right now. The the just really clever positioning. Ooh. All these stuns. Look at this again. Now going for a bottom bounce. Uh, that looks unlikely to reach. So Joker stack does get back first. But once again, they are so bothered at the moment. They just cannot get their normal offense going. No, no, it's going to be another turnover here. Infinite in, in control. So Andy's going to dump that one in deep, but it is Ryan on that backfield ready to take that one. So he's going to slow it down here, look over his options, get his team to spread out, pull a defender out so they can get something to happen. He does have an open man down. That is Ryan, uh, excuse me, he was number four, Dash. Dash sending that one in deep. Jay Walker trying to make the play, but YouTube is going to get that one sent away. But now back in the hands of Kong, and they're going to turn around, maybe make somehow. Ooh, oh, the feed there to Jay Walker. That is a Jay Walker shot if I've ever seen one. But that one dings off, and now it's turning around. They've been uh, doing those since uh, get the early days I mentioned, even before Joker was uh, on top of the world. Those were the kind of shots that they kind of made themselves famous for almost. They would take them. But in this kind of situation, uh, not sure if it was just a matter of thinking that he had no time, so it was a, a force shot, or just going, you know, classic Joker game plan, which is, is to say they just kind of do what they want. Either way, that's a risky uh, move that doesn't pay off, and it will be maybe paying off for a goal for Infinite, but they can convert the first one, second one, they absolutely will. They're off by four now with less than three. These sweep kings, they're in danger now of getting swept. Danger. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. Oh my goodness, wow, what a shot there from Zach. He had the discipline to keep it behind the line. Gets it in for the three, and yeah, infinite up by four here. 235 to go. It is gonna be Team Joker with that joust advantage. Dash sending that one over to the near side wall to Jay Walker. Jay Walker floating up, has a little bit of room to operate as uh, Infinite just collapsing in on their bubble. They're letting Joker walk into the field. They were trying to uh, send a chain out to attack that carrier, but Dash now sending it, but YouTube the save. Another big save here from YouTube. Gonna send that one away, 215 to go. And now a uh, bit of a race for the disc. It's continuing to leave me speechless. I can't even comprehend the level of, of defensive play we're seeing. Never mind any of the offense, just the amount of brawls, the steals, the interceptions, the rejections, all the above. Oh, but that's a very tough unforced one. So Jay Walker, the hesitation move, but can't convert. Joker uh, continuing to hurt based off of all of this scrambled and aggressive play. Yeah, that ding there, that one hurts, but it is going to be Joker still in possession here under pressure. Kong setting that Ooh, one in, and Dash with the redirect, just going to plant that one in for the two. And now it's a two-point game with only a minute and a half to go here. In round two, what's going to happen? It's still either team's game. Joker can, it's Joker, they can come back. I mean, there's nothing stopping oh, them yes. from coming back except for Infinite's defense. That's the thing. In, in every other context, again, Kang aside, in every other game of their uh, 20 plus wins they they would close out they've been at a threat of losing sometimes but here it goes they lose a disc uh, infinite that is but joker always almost always manages to come back and secure those sweeps anyway obviously the sweep is already off the table today uh dash way deep in the back once again just not wanting for any more points uh, to pile on but what a big grab now so taking it up no. high onto oh. the sky for the cloud but it's not gonna be online that would have been devastation that would have been a, that would have been on ESPN later tonight if he hit that one shot in a, <laughs> the finals qualifiers against Joker, but still in the lead. Thirty nine seconds to go. Infinite with possession of the disc. YouTube sending that one across to Palace. Palace Ooh. gonna go for that empty net. He hits it. Oh. Echo. That's it. Echo. That's it. Echo. History just has been made or is about to be. What in the universe has just occurred? I can't, I'm done. This game, it's, it's done. And I'm shocked that I'm saying that right now. Do you have any idea what that just did to the bracket? Do you have any idea what that just did to everyone watching? I, if it just be Joker in two. Just let that uh, sink in for everyone at home right now. Let, so let, let uh, it sink seeing in. that this is going to be uh, the the highest we ever go, uh, I am officially announcing my retirement uh, from casting. Because uh, I don't know if you get more exciting than that. I 
I, I don't think I was I was I was in, I was not casting that match. I was just experiencing life. <laughs> just a passenger on the ride. <laughs> yeah. I wow. <laughs> wow. Since the, since the end of that first round, since that overtime, I've literally been shaking. Uh, I got to stand that's, up. That's how much I adrenaline. Up. That's how much adrenaline I've got burning through me right now ever since that that conclusion. I mean, the saves were already incredible. The, the defensive play, then that overtime happened, those huge uh, saves from both Joker Ooh. and Infinite. And ever since then, despite everything and all else, they just, they never let up. Uh, wow. And you know what? Not only did they not let up, they did not let down anyone who watches this at any point. Excuse me. It, it's, yeah. What a time to show up, uh, didn't we? What, what a time to show up like that for Infinite. I, uh, I'm sweating. I'm sweating just from watching that game. <laughs> I, oh, I, yeah. oh, man. I don't, I well, don't, yeah, that's, uh, that's, I, we peaked, man. Miramel yeah. just peaked. Yep, uh, that was... Just, uh, yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait till we see the highlight reels of this Kim, match. Hold on, Kim in chat saying, what now? <laughs> That's a great question, Kim. That's a great quote. What now? What now? Uh, what now? I, what I do know for <laughs> sure is infinite. Suddenly, suddenly, oh I, dare I say, fa if they can carry this over, suddenly favorites in the entire context of the season. I mean, <laughs> to sustain that level, that effort, and that kind of focus for that amount of time to do it two straight rounds against a two master tier teams against a team who hasn't lost rounds to a 99% of teams much less been swept before uh, in the last six months plus so to do all that so tentative favorites tentative favorites but uh, how, how do you sustain that so basically what we're what we have now is Round three of this round robin, Joker and Illuminati are playing for their spot. Uh, yeah, Infinite with that 2-0. Oh, my goodness. That's... Wow. Wow, Infinite. Wow, guy. I know you're... I, I, I'm sure they paused it, the, the replay at this point, if they're watching. I, I doubt they're still watching. Uh, but if they happen to be, wow, guys. Wow. Just wow. Yeah. Well... So that was one for the books, as uh, I was mentioning. Can't wait to see just the highlights, uh, analysis. I mean, I'm not even sure there's much to analyze in the sense that <laughs> so many so many of those big plays, okay? You can say, I mean, positioning aside, just when, when it came down to the goals, which normally you say high percentage goals, take high percentage shots. Uh, Joker still got plenty of high percentage shots. Uh, got a little scrambled there. Uh, you know, clearly they were very much just discombobulated by the aggression and they're not used to dealing with that kind of a uh, defensive intensity from a team. So they're kind of in a disarray for a while, but even the ones that were good, the good little drives on the goal and trying to paint those corners and trying to just get those one-on-ones, they were still stifled, dare I say, more often than not, which is rare in its own right. The amount of stoppage everywhere in that entire blue zone was, uh, immense and it was intense and as i said it really makes no sense to me all i know is that was the most impressive thing i have seen in a very very long time on that defensive end from a from an entire team you know that was crazy 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 it, no it absolutely was that defense from infinite was, it was ridiculous I, i've never seen that that i haven't i have not seen i'm not i'm not exaggerating this isn't hyperbole. I'm not kidding. It's I'm not it, for real. I've never seen some a team shut down the bubble with that effect. I have not. I've not seen it like that before. I mean, that was a that that was that was more than a masterclass. That I mean, that well, was that was the example. That was the example. You know, I, what amazing. I really, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> what I really need to do, what I really want to do, uh, is just put that footage. I want to go look back. Uh, obviously after the cast today, but I'm super curious now just to see what exactly they did and how it compared to their uh, normal bubble defense. I mean, Infinite's no slouch on defense, of course. Uh, no teams at this level 
you know have significant holes in their game whatsoever but uh, just the ability to yeah cut off every every bubble entry it seemed like uh that would certainly be worth analyzing i think i i'm sure rocks titan wherever he I is mean, probably listening out there he needs to do a video on that maybe and then Tell, tell one, me what's going on. <laughs> one thing I did notice, and this isn't the bubble play in particular, but the defensive play generally, what I noticed, I, I didn't I didn't catch on to later in the game, but it looked like Infinite, when they when Joker got the disc, Infinite wasn't pressuring them all that heavy in the field. The Infinite would, would, would completely withdraw to their bubble mm -hmm. and say, all right, you've got the disc, you're moving in. We're going to let you walk it all the way, but once you get here, you're in our house. And yeah. that's what they did. And I don't know the, the intricacies of that. I, I, I didn't quite pick up on during the game. Uh, I'd love to, as you said, I'd love to go back and, and dissect it, dissect it. But uh, they, uh, that's one thing I noticed is they were collapsing to their bubble every time Joker moved into the zone. And yeah, this is a, uh, yeah, absolutely phenomenal there. Yeah, for sure. And, and then, you know, by the, uh, by the end of it to the last latter half or so of the round, how unusual is it to see a player? I mean, I think I think it was a uh, dash or maybe Kung, but having them play so de uh, like any team at this level, basically leaving almost a perma goalie practically uh, towards the end, and just just unusual things all along. Because that's Joker's mo. That's what Joker is excellent at doing to other teams is really just forcing to uh, forcing them into these uncomfortable situations where they they throw uh, other teams off kilter and they don't allow them to do what it is they normally do in terms of these slow workups to the floor uh again the goalkeeping skills from the joker players are uh intense as well on an, any given day but uh it's just a yeah a, a double a double dose in a back-to-back -back couple of rounds of what joker does to other teams uh, it just happened uh, to them but in any case, I think before we continue on about that, I mean, it's worth talking about for a long time. That's for oh, sure. We do, we do have other matches coming up, <laughs> believe it or not. So uh, we're going to be moving along here soon. Next match. Let's see. As I do regather myself, it will be on uh, this channel, Infinite, against a wireless Jack. So we are sticking with Infinite. Uh, meanwhile, Team Joker will be moving on to face Illuminati on VRML channel two. So we're gonna adjust and uh, get teams where they need to be as well as casters and what have you. And we'll join you on the other side. So be right back. I'm Gilligan, captain of the Wireless Jacks. I punch people and let my teammates do all the hard work. My name is uh, Blitz. I play midfield to defender, and I'm also on the Wireless Jacks. I'm Venom. I play striker and midfield for the Wireless Jacks. I'm Will. I'm the goalie for the Wireless Jacks. Yeah, so um, I, I was a little bit nervous going into the qualifier. I uh, obviously know these guys pretty well from the rec league that we play in, but 
Uh, it's a lot different when you team up to play competitively. So uh, I wasn't wasn't just uh, about whether or not I could come in and perform, but I also wanted to be able to fit in with this team as much as possible. Um, it's been incredible how they've welcomed me into the team. And uh, even though I captain Nova, I've already learned a lot from playing with these guys. And um, just after Nova disbanded, I remember looking through all the different teams, wondering which one I would want to play for. And Wireless Jacks have always been that had that personality and play style that I appreciate. So I feel pretty lucky to be playing with them. Uh, nope, and we're we're pretty confident in what we're going to bring to the competition. We're we're pretty sure we're not the ones that need to be afraid. So as a team, we um, we work very very well together. We feel like we have a very good chemistry, and that says a lot. That uh, considering we have a new player that just joined us, being Venom, he's fit in really really easily with us. So our main strength is basically that our great chemistry and our um, our dedication and hard work. We we put a lot of work into our practices and working on our plays. So uh, yeah. We're, we feel pretty ready. Uh, we're really excited to be here. We uh, With Venom coming in, he's got a couple of new rollouts that he's shown us that we've been practicing. So we're looking forward to being able to showcase that for the stream on Sunday. Well, I'd say the goal for the team um, is that we want to put on a good show, um, put on a good fight for the stream. And uh, we want to make uh, the match as close as we can. Uh, we kind of recognize that we, you know, we qualified with the last spot, but I think we surprised a lot of people being able to do that. Uh, surprise ourselves a little bit also put a lot of preparation into work into you know practicing and the plays and um, all the scrimming that we do the goal is really to you know ultimately have some fun um, but we're also looking forward to playing some of the master teams that we don't really um, get a chance to play during the regular season kind of see what they're all about and looking forward to kind of getting to that next level and getting some experience Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome back to VR Master League here in our round robin finals qualifier in North America. This is Group B. And we are just coming off of one of the most unbelievable matches. Uh, for those who maybe weren't here and were in the other channels, you're going to want to watch this, uh, watch these ones back on this channel for sure. Uh, but... We're closing out soon with uh, one more match, and it's going to be the Fiery, the absolutely dominant right now, Infinite, uh, coming up against the Wireless Jacks. The mentioned them as kind of the, the Dark Horses, the team that's really built a name for themselves late in the season especially, and uh, coming in trying to maybe cause an upset. And I was mentioning it in the uh, just the pre-stream just a minute ago before we went live on the mics that I'm not sure I can take another upset of any sorts. Uh, physically, <laughs> but Wireless Jacks, if they get hot here in Infinite, as I applied to Joker uh, 30 minutes ago, said if you know if, if Joker wasn't playing their best and Infinite was playing like they did and at their best, there would be an upset. So same thing here, if Infinite lets off that pedal at all and Wireless Jacks uh, play like they have and they're capable of, as that shot just misses, uh, there could also be some up uh, upset opportunities, didn't we? Look at that. You see, you see Wireless Jacks coming out the gate, swinging there, taking that quick shot. But a quick shot, Ooh. now an answer. Zach going to play with that one in for the three from 10 meters out, 10 meters a second. That's a one second goal. And yeah, Infinite taking that quick three point lead here. Uh, but I also wanted to point out that last round, uh, Joker versus Infinite, that was that was basically that was kind of your, your standard grudge match. Uh, here, I, I'm not sure what the opposite of a grudge match is. Maybe a friends match. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but these everybody in this game, we're, uh, uh, all buddies of mine. We're all friends. We all uh, hang out. 
uh, periodically and uh, get down and, and have some fun uh, in Echo Arena. And uh, every single one of us have played together. And for a long time, we're all buddies. And I'm really excited to see these two teams play off again, face off against one another. Absolutely. That's the beautiful, uh, beautiful thing about Echo Arena and just about sports in general, right? Is the competition as a uh, shot gets taken actually a soft pass. And look at that special delivery to Andy Tuppy for just the slap. And right before it gets stunned, that was a great hit. Yeah, that was, that was a great send in there from YouTube right up to Andy as that chain was just getting back to goal to make a defense on that. But Andy's able to redirect that one right back in. And now Infinite with a five-point lead here. A minute and a half into round one as Jax come out of the tubes here. Going for that drop play. Now Gilligan sending that one up there to Blitz. Blitz trying to get that through mid, but it's going to take that ugly bounce. But it will be well. I am getting the hand on it, sending it deep there into the infinite zone. But YouTube is playing that back line. Not going to let that one get through. But he does lose Ooh. hand of it for just a moment. So it's going to be an opportunity here for Jax. Gilligan sending that one up to Venom. Venom underneath the goal, sending it right back. Oh, but the read there from Pals. He's going to get that one and send it down. Now see, this is very interesting here, is that this, oh, just gets knocked loose, but Palace is still there on the recovery, so he comes in boosted uh, pretty hot off that shot. It's gonna go in for two right up in the top corner. Yeah, Gola comes out, the challenge uh, defender, looks like he got out of place as well, and that leaves the goal open for Palace. Take that shot, send it in, 17 meters a second, nice little heater there, good for the two, and now Infinite's up by seven here with seven and a half to go. So one of the biggest things about uh, infinite success today, uh, obviously the defense, but to narrow it down, some of those brawls. Interesting here coming against uh, a ex super experienced and frequent lover of the brawls and Gilligan. Curious to see how he fares uh, against the, again, the, that stalwart defense, just a million punches, but a, and really effective ones at that. Yeah, no, it'd be great to see some of those one-on-ones, but now another opportunity here, YouTube, up on that shoulder block, ducking the one defender, sending it in on the goalie, he gets it in for another two there. And, uh, and yeah, nine nine points here quickly in the what three minutes of play, and it seems uh, yeah the timeout being called or tech issue of sorts. Uh, don't know if you got ears on uh, something that I did not, but yeah. I, I I heard something right after the goal was scored. I heard Gilligan say yeah every uh, every game we've had to deal with it. I don't know what though. I don't know what exactly happened. Uh, but definitely a tech issue on the wireless jacks, and uh, apparently something they've had to deal with a bit today. Uh, oh, that's but unfortunate. Yeah, very unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, it was still a good goal there for Infinite. Uh, what was the score? Uh, nine? Was that nine there? Yeah, yeah. Nine. Didn't catch the time. Hopefully the team's got to look at that. But of course, we can we can always check the old VODs, and I'll do that just in case right now. So let's see. Yeah, uh, right on cue. <laughs> got a yeah, message in the Discord. So checking it out right now. So looking into that, and uh, yeah. Uh, infinite playing just you know playing their game sticking to it and uh, getting these getting these goals in here 9-0 currently uh not quite halfway through I'm not exactly sure what the time was for checking now of course but uh yeah infinite just really bringing it here to jacks jacks really trying to uh to make stuff happen there on their launches and just having a hard time uh, uh i mean they, they had a couple opportunities on offense but yeah J infinite's not even letting them get to their bubble most of the most of the time there so infinite just doing what infinite does just playing uh, that, that defense as well as they do. And uh, yeah, it looks like 7.15 uh, was on the clock there. So it could be 9-0 in favor of Infinite here in round one. Uh, seven minutes, 15 seconds to go as, ooh. Uh, did I disconnect or is that somebody? No, it looks like somebody else. Uh, is that disc? goes a little wild there. Hmm. We're all a little bit disconnected today, it would seem, uh, from reality, virtual reality, what have you. I don't know. see a lot of discussion going in there in the chat, but that's neither here nor there, but e yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it looks like what seven. So seven fifteen. It was nine points up. Uh, Wireless Jacks came in true to their their credentials. That first joust, they took it. I mean, for again, as good as Infinite has been and, and as fast as they've been, there's a uh, really very few teams and very few stacking pairs and or just uh, stacks in general that can beat out those Wireless Jacks, especially on those neutral launches and. Uh, and on even the defensive launches as well. They are just so, so snappy and uh, couldn't convert on that opening shot. But still, it's uh, just true to their their name that they've built up. And just to point out, uh, Newton Dad in chat saying, uh, now Palace Shop, just to point out, a lot of times what will happen is when one team takes that uh, tech time out, uh, maybe someone else, someone else uh, in the game is uh, suffering some, from some minor issue, but something they were able to mm -hmm. deal with. And uh, they'll go ahead and take that time uh, to correct their own issues as well, just to... Just to uh, you know, take advantage of that moment. So that's probably what Palace was doing there. Maybe an audio issue or something. He just wanted to fix out right quick. Yeah. 
So uh, with that said, it looks like we're all good, hopefully to go as Will I am. Uh, takes this disc and looks for the pass, but there's a cutoff. Zach just uh, positioning himself very, very well to buy Andy the goal. 12-2-0 here, infinite's favor. Yes, yeah, good read there by Zach getting that interception on that quick pass. And uh, Andy already in position. Presumably they were in that sack uh, moving forward. And that's what gave Andy that extra little little length there as he took that pass from Zach. Sends it in through the three. And now infinite up by 12. Up by 12 and looking to maybe build some more. That's a deep shot just slightly off. We'll ding off the post. Uh, goes into the hands of Venom. The new player here to the roster, just joining uh, uh, quite late there in the season before the roster cutoffs, and uh, really a big, a big part of uh, Wireless Jacks being here as well as, as much as anything. Just the the cohesion uh, to be able to come into a roster and and just immediately have uh, positive effects and and have that chemistry, uh, like the Wireless Jacks did in the Challenge Cups, uh, super super impressive. Oh, Captain, my Captain, yeah, Venom, uh, my old Captain from Nova. Uh, it doesn't surprise me that he fit in so so quickly, uh, mostly because we we were already so familiar uh, with their their way of doing things, their offensive play, their defensive setups, and all that, just because we played them so often in scrims with Zach with the long shot there. That one's gonna ding off the post and bounce all the way back out. But yeah, Venom definitely a big addition to Jacks. I, I can uh, attest to that personally. Uh, I'm definitely happy to see them here, uh, at least making it this far into the uh, the postseason uh in season one here and backing out to youtube he is going to be just posted up anchored up in the back line uh, infinite not wanting to uh just to let let up it, it seems and that's exactly what they needed to do so you see they're still playing those positional plays they're still going Ooh. for the good shots off the backboard palace striking now that was a great shot hitting right the tip of the cone there and it sends it in for a two-pointer on the goalie there six meters out and uh, yeah, now uh, Infinite up by 14, right about halfway through this round one. Uh, Wireless Jack's definitely looking to make something happen here. You know they want to put some points on the board and uh, looking to do a different rollout here. Look at that. Uh, that's what I used to call. I actually didn't have a name for it. I didn't know what to call it. I would always uh, I'd see them come out and like, oh, they're doing that weird thing again. <laughs> uh, I love seeing them deploy it there. But a shot there, that one's going to go wide and bounce out of the bubble. Right back to, uh, oh, no one's hands. Everyone overshooting it a bit. It was kind of an awkward angle, and there was Geo in the way, so miss grabs will result in this clear that is uh, received by Palace right at that angle. As it uh, does get the clear, that's a deep, maybe shot potential. It's still going to go anyways, so either way you cut it, Palace getting it to Zach, and he cuts in for the 17th. Yeah, just bread and butter play there from Infinite, getting hold of that disc, Zach getting down there. Uh, open on the ceiling. That's where he likes to play. I mean, you always look for Zach. Zach's going to be up above you most of the time, unless you're inverted yourself. And uh, yeah, good feed there. Palace is Zach. Zach going to send that one in for the three. And now three points away from a mercy here is infinite in round one with four minutes to go. Jacks really need to put some points on the board if they want to send the, if they want to stop that from happening. Palace looking for that shot, that long three. Going to be off the mark, but a slap there from, I believe oh, no. it was that Zach. Uh, Zach or Andy, that was Zach slapping that one in for the three, and that's going to be a mercy in round one at 352. That's at least the third slap shot, uh, I believe all of them from Zach, correct, from uh, Infinite there. He had um, he had one, I believe, against Illuminati. He had at least one against Joker. Maybe they're either or, three or four. Uh, so mentioned uh, they're playing the same way that they did earlier. That includes the slap shots. He is very much conscious of... Uh, uh, and confident in the, his ability to just get those off in time and with accuracy. So a very effective way for Infinite to uh, end that round. Yeah, and uh, convincing what it was there for Infinite, as you said, it's playing how they need to play, doing what they what they did last game and just not letting off the gas, just coming out hard and uh, scoring those goals. They see the lane, they're going to take the shot, and uh, they're scoring. And probably 95% of them are going in. Yeah, he is a uh, very... Uh, when he is feeling good, he is a very, very efficient player on offense. It's not a surprise just to see him pile on points by the dozen, it seems like. Uh, at the moment, just missing that shot. So Blitz takes it out there, is going to get the rebound and just uh, be below or above uh, his reach. And uh, Palace now a very, very quick sling to the opposite side, just hoping to find someone in line for the uh, reception. And he does. So yeah, Palace now sending that one up to Andy. Andy going to send that one in on the empty net. Good for the two. That's going to be our first points of the game at 30 seconds in from Infinite. Up now 2-0. Uh, just over nine still to go here in round two. 
And by the by, uh, two minutes left over there on channel two in this uh, first round matchup between Joker and Illuminati. Currently five point lead going Joker's way. So maybe looking to regain some some foothold there in the, what is a very important game for them as well. Yeah, another opportunity here. Will I am, but that's gonna get stolen there by Andy. Andy now looking to send this one away. He had a one man cover that was Venom Venom covering that lane there, but he does get that pass off over there to Zach. Zach now trying to make some space here. Look for that back pass. Does hit YouTube in the backfield. YouTube gonna forward that one up to Palace. Palace going across to Zach. And they're gonna move this one through mid. Uh, oh, what the read there from Blitz. So he's going to get the interception. And now Jack's turning around. They have two chained up. Look oh. send it in. Gilligan with a long shot with the oh, save oh. there. YouTube not going to let that one go in. That is a, a, a play that I have seen from Wireless Jacks. Whether, I mean, sometimes it's just convenient because they happen to be in position. But other times, I'm sure they're, they're looking for it. They got those straight line passes where they really just with very quick and rapid efficiency, they find the extra one. They uh, get the closer range shot. It's just uh, not quite speedy enough to get it through the defense. Will result in a shot that is, in fact, miss, uh, but rebounded and rebounded by Will I Am. So unable to convert and two minutes in, only two points for infinite. Yeah, this one's gonna get sent all the way there into the, 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 uh, the infinite zone. Excuse me, YouTube now, but that one's gonna send this one away. To that left tube, they're gonna bounce through. Good stun there from Palace on Gilligan. That doesn't happen often. Palace gonna send that one in for that deep three. Oop. That's hit it. 27 meters out, 17 meters a second. Good for the three. And now uh, Infinite is up by five here. Seven and a half to go. All right, so finally got the score on the board after a minute and a half of play just between the, uh, the last joust and now. And uh, yeah, for Wireless Jacks, let's see what they roll out with. They have a Definitely a big playbook full of a creative joust and all these different plays. Like there's one of them trying for the uh, kind of delayed one, but there was really no no, no one there to uh, receive that time. And oh jeez, Palace oh, somehow wow. gets the goal to go. Uh, <laughs> not to distract, although that was that was uh, of course that's gonna happen there for Palace from 49 meters away. But Illuminati Joker just went to overtime in round one. All right, uh, so. <laughs> Full to the brim with incredible matches today, needless to say, over on Channel 2, on Channel 1 as well throughout the day. Uh, lots of stuff going on, so thank you guys for tuning in with all that excitement and YouTube here uh, getting the disc for Infinite. They're going to be back on offense, six and a half left. Yeah, YouTube's going to forward that one down into the Jack zone. It is going to be Blitz on the backfield getting the grab on that one, but right into the hands of Zach as he tries to clear that one away. Zach gonna move in on the on the uh, take that shot on the empty net. Oh, it's gonna ding once, and then Palace gonna get there first. Set that one in for the two, and Infinite's gonna go up by ten here with just over six to go. So now it's starting to find the points. It took a couple of minutes to get their first couple of goals, but since then, now uh, starting to feel good. So for Wireless Jacks trying to close out this this cup uh, with some strength, and again, uh, we'll see what they roll out with it. They tend to go to different things uh, throughout uh, the course of a match, and I'm always interested in just seeing the creativity they bring. Ooh, good stop there by uh, uh, Palace on that attempt there from Jax, as that one's going to get sent all the way down into the Jax oh, bubble. Almost again. Ooh, a bit of a, a race for it here. Going to be uh, Zach getting that one. Goalie's just getting there, but he's going to get it in nonetheless, and that's, uh, excuse me, Infinite going up by 12 here. So a dozen points halfway through this uh, first round or will be uh or second round sorry and will be the continuation of just the theme of the day is how do you break through how do you break through all that uh, yeah. defense that that they're because look wireless jacks are getting their joust but then they keep getting closed off like uh, right here on the outer edge same way joker was here it goes again it, it's just i don't know how you can break through that i don't know, know what they're doing different than other weeks besides just nailing every uh, every potential brawl but there they are in the face of the offenders each and every time it seems as almost a shot careens in yeah i was really close to slap there uh from venom looking to send that one in and uh, i've seen him hit those before it wouldn't surprise me had that gone in but zach's gonna come away with that one in that pocket send it in deep and it is a chain from infinite getting down there first and youtube he's gonna hesitate before he puts it in to burn a little bit more time and uh, yeah, that's gonna be infinite going up by 14 here with just four and a half to go here in round two. Yeah, so uh, we'll be YouTube this time contributing everyone really from uh, infinite now, just uh, putting points on the board, uh, putting up points, putting up assists, they're getting their boost through, uh, still playing 
with some good efficiency here and picking it up uh, later and later we go into this round. Uh, Will I am over there in the deep back line should get this recovery and he does. Will I am of course just uh, the the man with the incredible incredible reads. Uh, call him a librarian in the goal because he, he reads just every every shot so very well. And I uh, just got to give him his shout out as well because he's been one of the most impressive uh, factors for Wireless Jacks. And there's a lot of impressive factors on their team. Yeah, no, he's part of the reason they made it this far. And a good read there from Gilligan. Cut off that pass, sending it right back to Will I Am. But oh, Palace with the stun and the steal. The shot down there in the orange bubble. And he's going to pop that one in for the two. Infinite going to go up by 16. But no, still, yeah. Uh, and, and I wanted to touch on another thing. Uh, I referenced the. Uh, during the, uh, when was it? Oh, it was at the start today uh, that uh, Jax, uh, you know, their goal was to get, and you referenced it as well, their goal was to get in the gold. They didn't quite get there, but then they got this far. And uh, despite the fact they, they weren't able to reach that, that, that gold threshold they were trying to hit, uh, they still got this deep into the postseason. And that, I think, uh, it, it, it suffice for that for that goal for the season because that's it's massive that they were able to get this far uh, the way they did. Oh, without a doubt, there's there should be no doubt in anyone's, in anyone's mind. Uh, if you watch any of the matches from that last month if you watch their performance in the challengers cup they're, right now they're going against some very very just top of their game teams needless to say especially infinite here in this uh matchup i mean they're, they've been making history today so for wireless jacks this is a uh, just you know one little hurdle in the road to what is a road leading to no doubt some glory down uh in the future seasons i mean i think i think the gold rank is uh, inevitable in the, the future season, season two beyond, because they're a team who's stuck together and they've just gotten better every single week we've seen uh, we've seen them play. So, promising road ahead. Oh, absolutely. And uh, as we are one point away from that mercy here, Infinite up by 19, two minutes to go here. Jack still looking to put some points on the board. They don't want to get mercy here in this round too, as they come out of the tubes here. You're still going to see them playing with that fire uh, that they've been mm -hmm. playing with all season. Gilligan sending that one down. They're to blitz, blitz under pressure. Going to send this one in deep, uh, looking for a good bouncer. They do get good enough. Venom sending that one oh. in. Oh, but the bounce off the backboard. That one's going to go wide. But Blitz with a good stun on the near side wall, and then uh, getting away with that disc. Will I am going uh, good pass there to oh, Venom, but he's wow. going to get stunned out, and now it's going to come away here. YouTube sending that one away. And that was uh, another one of those fantastic looks. That shot's going to end it as well. Twenty-two infinite coming through with a win. It's Andy. Uh, that last shot. <laughs> no idea if the... It's all, it's all in fun. It's yeah. all in fun. It's all... I, oh, I can oh, no. hear... I, it's... Yeah. I'm just wondering if the stream heard any of that or not. That was... Uh, that was... It. That was... Oh, uh, okay. It was Gil Gilligan coming through, so... Uh, saying, it took you the... Uh, so and so long to mercy sg so it was like they're having they were having some fun everyone uh, on both sides laughed about it and like then we said going into it uh these all these guys here you know friends and uh they they you know, hang out uh play in the community leagues together quite frequently so good to see the good spirits from uh, everyone involved i mean this is just <laughs> oh my so andy with one of the worst performances i've seen from a player Oh wait, sorry for the stream. You have no context of why I just said that. Never mind. <laughs> why uh, would you say that, Palador? That was so <laughs> mean. Andy was sorry. Andy was toxic to me in the open comms that you're not hearing on stream. That's all. <laughs> but uh, sorry, and any distracted by the player comms. I apologize. I, I, I'm gonna leave the game so I don't keep getting distracted. <laughs> that was, oh, they're being funny. Yeah, yeah. It's in good fun, but. Oh, yeah, it'll cap off the, a supreme performance, no doubt, from Infinite. Uh, just about as flawless as you can get, especially the clamps, the defense. The, everything about it was incredible. I mean, even even the opportunity Wireless Jacks had uh, a couple of minutes ago towards the end there, where it looked like a high percentage look, because I talked about that uh, with Joker as well in that game. How even the looks that were high percentage, you say, okay, yeah, that's right in front of the goal. Normally, that's going to be a 80% conversion type shot. Uh, but even those ones were stifled. So it's 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 tough. It's tough uh, for every team that they've gone against. That is to say, for uh, Infinite, yeah. I mean, but for Wireless Jacks, very, very admirable effort and across the whole season, across the Challengers Cup, uh, their future supremely bright, uh, being led there by Gilligan. 
stuns and brawls and all, uh, captaining the team, as well as Venom, Sir Dimwi's uh, captain there, former captain on uh, Nova. You got Blitz, the perhaps most, uh, as I've said in previous weeks, kind of the underrated player of one of the most underrated teams going into the late season. Definitely a hot shot is Blitz. And then Will I Am, of course, the anchor on defense. So bright future ahead for Wireless Jacks. Uh, in the more immediate term, very bright future ahead for Infinite. I, I, I cannot wait to see what happens next week in the championship brackets. Uh, if, if we see even just a small slice of what we saw today, I, I, I don't know what to expect except amazing things. That's that's about it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing a wireless shacks moving on in the future. And that was uh, something that uh, 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 Infinite was telling them as, as I left that game. One of the things that was distracting me was it was uh, Andy and Zach and them telling them that uh, they really look forward to what Jax are going to be doing in the future because Jax uh, really, really proved uh, their talent in, uh, in the last few weeks here and really excited to see them get this far. Uh, but uh, in case, uh, just, to, just to point out, though, uh, we are basically we're wrapping up here on VRML 1, but VRML 2, that game is still going. They're in a timeout right now. Illuminati, Team Joker. Team Joker did win that round one in overtime. They're currently up by 10. Yeah. I'm not sure how much time is left on the clock, though. I, I can't see that at the moment. But, uh, yeah, so About there's a still minute, some game going on over there. Minute 15, and Joker won that first round in OT. And, yeah, they're looking uh, fairly good here on on the uh, clock. Oh, I think you meant how much time's left behind the timeout clock. That's a good question. In any case, yeah, so we're going to close off here. Good idea from Ninja Knight. Raid the other channel and, uh, yeah, close this one off. So with that said, I've been Palador. Sir Dimwi has been casting next to me in what's been an incredible streak of matches and wit over on the cameras. Uh, yeah, until, until next time, until next week here on Channel 1 as well as Channel 2. Hope we'll be seeing you real soon. Now, off you go. Scoot, scoot. Raid the other channel. Uh, be happy, healthy, safe, good to each other. All the above. We'll see you again real soon.